what we want and that's what we're here to get. Students had a list of reasons for attending the walkout. No concerns. The most important um, thing is that we want immediate issuance of a pamphlet to the student body explaining in detail all the rights of the students. Where the money goes uh, from our activity fees, um, they take a lot of money out of our um, uh, tuition every year for that. And uh, without telling us where it goes or what it's used for, it's, it's kind of raising a lot of questions and eyebrows uh, in the student body. This is Each student here, as you, as you see down the walkway here in the plaza, this is what they're gathering for today. To make sure that the university understands that we have rights, we pay student activity fees, and we want to be treated equal. After the student walkout, the students move from the steps right here over to Dr. Williams' office, where they're hoping to get some answers to some questions that they're concerned about. Where students literally raise the roof to get an answer. Melissa Lanier, ABC 32. And on a related note, we first told you about the Alabama State University student Jesse Tompkins, who you just saw. He is suing the school over their scholarship program. In response to that story, ASU gave us this comment today. They say, quote, in issuing scholarships to white students, the university is complying with a federal ruling that directs ASU to significantly increase enrollment of white students, end quote. ASU President William Harris says the scholarships awarded to white students in no way take away from the students at the university. He also says that the scholarships are useful in integrating ASU and that no award of scholarships to white students adversely affect the scholarships of black students. Harris concluded by saying ASU is encouraging the program and will continue to carry out the court's decision. ABC 32, of course, will keep you posted on this situation. Well, while students at Alabama State University are rallying for, rallying for equal rights, critics of next week's Ten Commandment rally say some supporters of the event are racist. A